Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. Today is Saturday, the 23rd of April, 2022. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Okay, let's start this off with a blessing, shall we? Dear universe, spirit guides, creator, ancestors, please give us a blessing for this Saturday, the 23rd of April, 2022. Oh, we get blessed tranquility. Look at this tree. This tree I call the as above, so below. Blessed tranquility. Your feelings are surfacing in order to be healed. Have faith and know that you are safe. Trust the current waves of emotion shall become a sea of tranquility full of love and blessings. Namaste. Let me read this one more time, guys. The blessed tranquility. Your feelings are surfacing in order to be healed. Have faith and know that you are safe. Trust the current waves of emotion shall become a sea of tranquility full of love and blessings. Namaste. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Okay. I have lots and lots of questions this morning. First thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me loving, healing energy yesterday and continue to send it to me today. I am so grateful for you. Oh, guys, um, I think it was V Cool Water who asked about solar flares. Guys, I really believe that what happened to me yesterday is because of the movement in the cosmos. Um, oh my gosh, I went literally walking uh, close to midnight. And before I got done with my walk, I was retching. I bent over retching on the, on the trail. I got back home to lay down and try to sleep before I, uh, before I started my Friday. And my puppy was sick as well. And we both literally just stayed in bed um, until four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, that's when my stomach finally stopped hurting. But oh gosh, guys, it was so terrible. I felt horrible. My stomach hurt like, like I felt like I needed to go to the hospital. But my puppy my little dog was just as ill as I was. And the only thing that we had done was go walk in the moonlight. Um, so I really feel like there were solar flares that were active <clears throat> yesterday that just bombarded our bodies and just put us down. So guys, be aware that things that happen in the cosmos do affect our bodies. Okay, let's start with these questions. My first question is, uh, with this unqualified 45 judge taking away the mask mandate, will the Supreme Court uphold the mask mandate? Will the Supreme Court uphold what 45's judge did? Will they uphold Will they uphold the striking down of the mask mandate? Will the Supreme Court uphold the striking down of the mask mandate? Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, the Supreme Court is not going to reverse what that judge did. The Supreme Court is not going to, not right now. No, the Supreme Court is not going to reverse that. And this is going to cause them to lose support in the Supreme Court. This is a war on us, guys. This is a war on sanity. Okay, I'm sorry, Spirit, but no. Uh, the Supreme Court is going to uphold what uh, 45's uh, 
unqualified judge did. My next question is from Jasmine. Jasmine says, are readers and mediums being spiritually attacked um, for telling the truth and doing readings and talking about the GOP and GQP and all this stuff? Are readers and mediums being spiritually attacked? And guys, I want to tell you, I mean, because a lot of you guys want me to do things that I won't do. Okay, like I do not um, just channel dead people. Okay, I don't do that. Um, I go through my guides. My guides give me the information. It's not my brain going into somebody else's uh, body. Um, so I don't channel spirits. You know, that to me, that's like playing with the Ouija board. You open doors that you don't know who's going to come through. And when you're channeling, and you don't know people who you are channeling, the, the chances of something nefarious entering your body and wreaking havoc in your own life is the chances are there. So guys, I don't, I don't channel dead people just to, to channel dead people. I don't do that because I don't know if that's who I'm actually talking to or not. There are a lot of entities that are out there that can spiritually harm us, okay? So this is what I want to say before I get to this question. To any of any of my viewers who are mediums, who are readers, um, and who are new to this, who are, who are finding that they have these abilities and these powers, because that's how most of us figure it out. All of a sudden, poof, it's just there, and you have these abilities that you did not know. OK, and then you have all this information that is just coming in from like the air. You're, you're receiving downloads and, 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 and ways on doing things. Guys, do not play with the paranormal. The entities on the other side of the veil are very powerful. Don't play. Don't be out there playing you know, with, 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 with spiritual things and protect yourself anytime, anytime you are asking uh, the universe spirits for questions, the first thing you need to do is call in protection from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, and from the universe to protect you from any entities that wish to cause you harm while you are opening yourself up to the universe, because this is what it is. You are like a candle, okay? When you open yourself up to the universe and you let that light shine, you are a candle and any moth can be attracted to that light. And not all moths are good moths. So just be careful when channeling, guys. Know what you're doing, protect yourself, and don't play games with the spirit world. Okay, do not play games with the spirit world. They can do things to you. Okay, this is for real. Don't play with the spirit world. Okay, here we go. Jasmine's question is, are readers and mediums being spiritually attacked for telling the truth, bringing light to these situations, for speaking on these issues? Are spiritual, are, are readers and mediums being attacked? Yes, worldwide, worldwide. And this, guys, this effort is just to keep us silent. This is another fear tactic. But um, a lot of the readers start getting hateful um, uh, comments in their boxes. People actually putting spells on readers through the comment section. Yeah, this is real, guys. Anytime you start stepping on people's toes, when you start telling the truth, that challenges people's reality. People come after you. They do. They come after you. My channel so far, I've been lucky. The only thing that I've been hit with is spam from these pornographers, and they're pretty easy to deal with. Um, but I haven't really got a whole lot of hate 
but I know it can come at any time. And and to say that I'm prepared for it because it hurts, it's it's an emotional attack, guys. And that's what these people do. So um, I'm as prepared as I can be. I know who I am and I know what I do um, and I know why I do it. And I don't do it for fame. I don't do it for money. I do this to keep you guys um involved in knowing what's going on in all these things okay so j again just send energy to those people who you love who you like who you wish uh, are protected from spiritual attacks yes um people and entities attack us regularly okay anytime you're doing work to bring light to shine a light, people are going to come after you and try to hurt you. Um, and the only thing that we can do, I protect myself. I wear my protection. I carry my protection. I have my candles lit. I have my sage going and I do my spiritual prep preparation before I turn this camera on. Okay. All right. My next question is from Danielle. Danielle would like to know, will Africa unite and prosper and throw China and Russia and other nefarious countries out who are stealing her resources. Will Africa ever unite its people and become the prosperous nation that it can be and evict all the people who wish to take from her and her people? Will Africa ever unite and prosper and throw out nefarious countries wishing to rob her of her resources and sovereignty. Here we go. First card. Yes, things will be brought back into balance. The government card and the religious card is second. There is going to be uh, the word renaissance. Renaissance is, is coming to my mind. The next card, we get the king of wands. This is a good fair man. This is a man who wants to protect the people, okay? So I feel like there's going to be a coming together of, of the, the different um uh, uh, tribes, uh, 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 towns, townships, cities uh, to come together to make one Africa. And, and I feel that one Africa, um, that the people unite, that the culture, to bring the culture back to the people, to clean up the entire continent and bring it to the beauty that it should be. That is something that is going to happen in the future. Um, we're going to have to fight the whole rest of the world to do this, to get all these people out of the country that are coming in to try to take over. And there's our answer. There's the yes, though. There's uh, our second, third yes. Okay. Africa will unite and prosper. Um, it's going to take a fight, though. The people will have to unite and stand together to push the others out of the country. Excellent question, Danielle. Um, the next question is, what will happen with Disney and DeSantis? Will the GOP change Disney's contract with the state? So Disney is responsible for Disney World and areas around Disney World. They provide fire, uh, medical, um, and police. Okay, this is a huge thing. Disney Park is a uh, um, um, uh, studios. Disney Studios down there in Florida is huge. Okay, you're talking about something the size of a small city. Okay, so there's a lot of people because it's not just the park that is protected. It's around surrounding areas around the park that are also protected. Will DeSantis? Will the GOP? change Disney's contract with the state of Florida? Will they, will DeSantis take away Disney's political power? Let's just put it that way. But here's the thing, guys. Disney is also the biggest backer of these GOPs. So when Disney, and they will, not support them or support every single... <laughs> 
<laughs> Democratic. Uh, that's what they're going to do. That's what Disney's going to do. But let's let's get this question out. Um, will will the GOP change Disney uh, contract with the state of Florida? They're looking at loss. First card, third card, we get our yes. But yes, the GOP is going to lose this one. They're going to. They're going to change it. And it's going to turn around and bite them in the butt. We got a lot of yeses. I'm pulling all the cards because I got to see this. So many yeses. Yes, the GOP is dead set on causing pain. This is what they're doing. Anybody who disagrees with them at this point, they are going to do everything they can to make them hurt or make it appear that they are making them hurt. The GOP is going to lose because of this. They are going to lose a lot, okay? Because they're messing with things that people love. And Disney is way more powerful than DeSantis. You're talking about one of the richest companies in the world. Okay, Disney is not just America. Disney is global. Global. DeSantis is local. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. The say the, the third card, like I said, we got the wheel of fortune. Below, we got a barren earth. This is what DeSantis is doing. The GOP is doing exactly what Vlad is doing. They are trying, they're they are doing the scorched earth. They are just trying to burn the house. They are doing everything that is just anti-people. This don't say gay. This war on Disney. Things people love. People love gay people. They do. They love us. We're, we're nice. We're, we're your entertainers. We're your singers. We're your actors. Okay? That's half them doggone people in those costumes at Disney. Oh, believe that they're gay. <laughs> believe it. Okay, this is going to cause a mutiny against DeSantis and the GOP. What these people are doing, don't worry, guys. Let them do what they're doing. Because every time they make these inane laws, every time they do this, they shine the light on them. Okay, they can change these laws. They can change all this stuff. We can't stop them from doing that. They're in office and they have that power. However, they do need to be reelected. And the only thing they can do is change how elections are done. They cannot stop people from elect from uh, uh, from voting. And they're trying to make it as hard as possible for people to get there. However, what they fail to realize is that the resiliency of the human spirit, especially when you tell an American, no, you can't do that. Oh, you've just opened Pandora's box. So the numbers again, guys, what is going to save us this time around from these Republicans is the sheer number. What we cannot do is fool ourselves into thinking that these people are going to give up trying to take over power. They will not. They will do anything. Say anything, start a war, shoot people, try to assassinate our president. These people are evil. They are, and that's the only way I can say it. Okay, the final card in this draft, we get the secret meetings. These meetings that the GOP are holding in Florida to try, I mean, they are literally, this is pure authoritarianism. What DeSantis is doing is showing you exactly what he plans to do should he be made president, okay? Watch what they are doing. They are going to try to destroy this country to get back into power. Listen to my words. The GOP is going to try to destroy this country country to destroy the heart, spirit, and soul of this country. Killing, it doesn't, it, they don't care how many people die uh, from disease. As long as they can say that their narrative is the one that they want everybody to follow. Death is just a part of their power, okay? The fewer people living means the fewer people to fight against them. And the same people that are supporting them are going to be the first ones to suffer if they do get back into power. Okay? So, but let me show you all the yeses. 
There's there's a yes. There's a yes. And there's a yes on um will the will the GOP change Disney's um contract? Yes. Oh, they're all over it, but it's going to hurt them. It is going to hurt them. This is going to this is going to be all bad for them. You got to think Disney number one is the biggest employer in Florida, biggest contributor to all all of their can of their uh, political campaigns. Okay, they shot themselves in the face despite their own nose. Okay, next question. Is this about uh, Mohammed bin Salman? Will Mohammed bin Salman, this is for entertainment purposes only, so Mohammed bin Salman, don't send your goons over here for me. Um, will he fight with Russia against the world? Will Mohammed bin Salman of the UAE fight with Russia? In the event of a world war, will MBS fight with Russia in the event of a world war? Yep, second. Sorry, guys, got the hiccups again. Second card and the fourth card. Okay, here we go. It's about money. It's about money. And guys, I don't know why this is coming in. This stuff with Jared Kushner and the UAE and, and, and Ben Salman and what's going on with this war in the Ukraine, all of this is tied together. Every part of this is tied together. This war in the Ukraine was planned. It was walked through. The United States was supposed to be an ally of Putin for him walking into the Ukraine. That changed when 45 lost the election. That was our saving grace. That was the universe giving us an, another chance to do something to stop this from happening, guys. We're failing again, okay? The card in front is the theft card, but this Okay, when we're when we're talking about this this getaway thief, this is all the underhanded things. This is stolen valor. This is lies and deceit. This is a lot of lying was done to the entire world under 45's administration on what was going on with Russia, Israel, the UAE, um, Syria, uh, Belarus, and all these people. There is an access of evil. There is is the Legion of Doom, okay? And those that I just mentioned are this Legion of Doom. These are the Suicide Squad, if you want to call it, that are going to go against our heroes, our militaries, the world's military, trying to bring peace and calm. Unfortunately, guys, I hate to say this, but this is something that has to happen. Because we have to change the way that we think and see things, the way that we treat our people until we take money out of the equation and put people first. We are going to be fighting these ridiculous scenarios of despots wanting to rule the world, wanting to come into power, wanting to have it all. And that's what this is all about. Singular entities. Wanting all the power, all the control. And here are our two yeses, guys. Okay. Um, will he fight? Will MBS fight with Russia? Yeah. Yes. Tears and, and violence. Yes. Yes. And uh, 45 sold them an entire fleet. Of fighter, of fighter planes and weapons. 45 armed the Saudis against us. Okay. Next page. Um, next question is from Spirit Beyond the Stars. Spirit asks, if Vlad 
over Vlad over in Russia, was assassinated, would the GOP change its tactics going forward? If Vlad is assassinated and doing what he's doing now, will that change the way that the GQP um, is responding to this whole war? Would that change the way that they're talking about things or would it just embolden them? If Vlad was assassinated, would it cause the GOP to change its tactics? Yes. And I'm going to explain this question a little bit more because what the what the GQP is doing right now, and I'm going to pick on Tucker Carlson because Tucker Carlson is the propaganda king. OK, he, not only is he committing treason in the United States, but he is going to he's, he's going he's in Hungary. He's on Russian television. I don't know how that's not a conflict of interest. OK, there are laws against this. Um, that's like being a double agent. But out here we are. And I'm, I'm going to say this the way it is. White people can, are getting away with everything. The laws don't apply to them. If they were people of color, they would already be in jail. They would have already been shut up. They would have already been put down. Be but because these are rich white people, and I'm going to call a spade a spade, because these are rich white people, they are allowed to break the law, especially financial laws. Tucker Carlson is making tons of money off the Belarusians, off the Hungary Hungarians, and off of the Russians. OK, he's getting paid to do their news over there, whether it's directly or indirectly. He is profiting from his treason and the United States is sitting back and letting this happen. Guys, do not close your eyes. This is a plan. OK, these people are letting the Ukrainians die. It would take one missile shot into into freaking Moscow to stop Vlad, blow up the Kremlin, and this is this whole thing has a different feel, taste, smell, anything. But it's rich people allowing rich people to do whatever they want, and they sit here and give lip service on how much they wish to help. This is what this is their equivalent of sending um, uh, prayer, hopes and prayers to all the dead people in the Ukraine, okay? We have to see this world for what it is. The rich run this world. The rich run it. Everything that's going on, rich people are controlling. This war in the Ukraine is one rich dude fighting against a whole country and a whole bunch of other rich dudes are like, well, we don't want to get involved. It's not bothering us yet. OK, he's planning on invading uh, Moldova next. Right next door, little tiny country that cannot that is not as equipped as the Ukraine is. OK, this is a destruction. These despots are like cockroaches. This is like laying down a carpet. Their plan. This is them attempting to take over the world. All these small governments are in danger all over the world. And not just from Vlad. Just wait till the rest of them get involved. Okay? This is planned. They are on a timeline. The only thing that changed is now the United States is not on team doom. OK, because the United States was on Team Doom. This is serious, guys. And if you can't see it, oh, my God, please, please, guys. And I know I know I, I went a little bit off of this, but I have to say this because I don't believe that people really understand. This is a worldwide attempt to change the very way that we live. These people want to control the world through force. What's happening, in, what's happening in the Ukraine stands to happen in any democracy in the world. What Vlad is being allowed to do can happen anywhere. 
the ones that are supposed to protect us have already shown us that they're not going to do anything unless it profits them. We are in danger. Okay, we are in danger from the people who run this world. We are in imminent danger. All right, um, let me get back to this question because that was if if uh, if if uh, Vlad was assassinated, would the GOP change its tactics? And like I said, I was going to explain this. And yes, they would change their tactics because then they would be afraid that that would happen to them. This is what has not happened, guys. Back in the day, assassinations used to be a pretty normal, regular thing. We haven't had one. We haven't even had an attempt in over 10 years, right here in the United States. That's, that, that, should, that, should make you, that should make everybody think, what, what, is, what is, why hasn't everyday old Joe tried to take uh, justice in his own hands and get rid of a tyrant, okay? Nowhere in the world has there been any assassinations of world leaders. There is magic involved in that. Um, these guys are trying to bring about a change that doesn't need to be brought about. These people are trying to literally usher in revelations word by word. And the GOP, under their guise of we're Christians, we're, we're, uh, that they are, um, uh, well, that they're Christians, are doing this, okay? My next question is also from Spirit. Is Liz Cheney a part of the GOP's plan to take the White House, okay? Yeah, this is what it, you got. Everybody has got to be aware of wolves in sheep's clothing, Liz Cheney, right winger from the cradle, daddy, the biggest right wing nut job on the planet, is Liz Cheney a part of the GOP's plot to take the White House, okay? Everybody thinks this is about Trump. Don't nobody care about Trump. Half of those people don't like him. This is about power and control. And Liz Cheney still has Republican at the end of her name. Is this a plot from the GOP to take the White House? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. And we got the scorched earth. Okay, first, this is, this is it, guys. Don't believe what they say. First card, we get the emperor power, stability, a great person. Liz Cheney has set herself apart from the rest of the fold. She has set herself outside of the norm. Liz Cheney, we may as well say she can be another uh, Le Pen, if you want to put it that way. She could be another Le Pen, exactly what Le Pen is doing in France, you know, saying that she is for the, for the French is the same thing that Liz Cheney can do um, to get the GOP back in power and, and, and have Democrats voting for her, okay? This, guys, this is a plan. It's a plot. Um, it's a plot. This is the GOP happy family. Yes, this is the ends to a mean, a means to an end, a means to an end. K uh, Kiss, uh, Killinger or Kissinger, whatever the, the dude that, that, uh, that went with her, that, that kind of bucked the GOP, that those two that are uh, sitting on the, the January 6th committee, the two Republicans that are sitting on the January 6th committee, guys, this is part of the plot. This is part of the plot. OK, this is all to to make people believe that some that these people are benevolent and giving and that they are different from the party that they subscribe to. Here's our first. Yes. Yes. Liz Cheney. And she knows what she's doing. OK, she's savvy. This is a plot to get the GOP back in the White House. Liz Cheney separated herself from the crazies. OK, and the crazies are being crazies. Guys, this is a skit. This is a plan. OK, she may be trying to get rid of some of her competition by dropping dimes on people. 
This is a plot and a plan. Do not trust these people. Look at this. Here's the future card. This is the victory card. She could very well ascend to the presidency, bringing the GOP back into full power. Guys, we are in danger of losing the House. We are in danger of losing the Senate. We as American people have got to put our energy into making sure that the people who are running for this these offices are the, are number one, who they say they are, and number two, people who are qualified, trustworthy to do the job that we're about to put them um, in uh, responsible for. Okay? All right. But yes, Liz Cheney, Spirit, great question. Liz Cheney is a part of the GOP plot to take back the White House, to take America, okay? Like I said, if being a Republican, if my light fell, if um, what is going on in the GOP was organic, it would look organic. It wouldn't look the way that it looks. So what I what I what I really just want everybody to understand is that what is going on here is so much bigger. This is not tiddlywinks. This, these these people are playing three dimensional chess. Whether you want to, whether it looks like they're playing checkers or not, they're playing three dimensional chess. They are working into the future. Not everybody in the GOP are morons, okay? The ones that are working behind the scenes, they have gotten this far. They have destroyed America to this point to where the, the everyday Joe has not stood up and, it, and walked to Washington if, if necessary, okay? What they have done is rile up the most violent part of the, the American psyche and set it in motion and point it towards uh, a target. The GOP is being brilliant in its manipulation of people, in its mind control games, and on in, in how it is trying to manipulate the consciousness of people. <clears throat> we have got to, number one, be aware that this is happening and do not close our eyes. We have got to stand up and take action. We cannot continue to allow these people to do what they're doing unchecked, unchallenged. This is where our voices come in. They have gotten everything, Every they have gotten where they are by doing nothing more than talking and repeating the same lies over and over again. That's how effective that is. 45's plan, just lie to him and repeat the lie. That's what he does. Repeat, repeat, repeat. He just repeats the lies. And, 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 and then his followers repeat the lies. They don't care about truth. They just repeat what they, what they were forced to memorize. And that's what it is. These are mind control tactics. It, the way that the GOP is being controlled is through repetition, just repeating the lies. That's all they do. And it's uber effective. And they do it on the commercials. They do it on the ads that play in the ra on the radio, in between songs. It is, you are being bombarded with it. Okay. My next question, serious question. Will any DA prosecute 45 in criminal court? And this guy's, the reason that he hasn't been um, arrested is because nobody is brave enough. Will we have a judge or attorney that is brave enough to arrest 45? Will there be a, a district attorney or a judge brave enough to arrest 45?
Okay, I gotta turn my cards over. First card we get is a maybe. Second card we get is death. Third card we get is a walk away card. Then we get the Queen of Swords, Crossroads, Hanged Man. We are looking for somebody with bravery. We get a maybe, and the last card is strength. Maybe. Maybe. And, and, and guys, this is what it is. It's going to take somebody, and this is what it's all about. They're, 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 they're processing this or, or saying that if, if, we, if, we, if we charge a president, that, that it's going to show that the country was, is weak. That is the GOP talking point. They don't want anybody to prosecute the president. Okay, this is the same thing that happened with Nixon. Had Nixon been prosecuted, we probably wouldn't be here. Okay, but Nixon was not prosecuted. Nixon was given a pardon when Nixon broke laws. He broke the laws of the United States. He was against the United States of America. He harmed this country and Gerald freaking Ford let him walk. And this is what's going on right now. The GOP wants uh, President Biden to let 45 walk. What we have here is a bunch of freaking cowards who do not want to hold pe rich people accountable for their actions. Why? Because it sets a precedent. Once you hold one of them accountable, th then you have opened the door to hold all of them accountable. So they don't want anybody held accountable. Okay, that's what this is, because the first one that goes is the catalyst, the domino to get the rest of them. Believe that. Believe that. Okay, excellent question. Um, excellent question. My next question is from Denny. Denny wants to know how many people have to die. Um, how many people have to die? from COVID ignorance be, before, before we can get a handle on this. How many people have to die? How long do we have to suffer in ignorance? How long do we have to suffer in ignorance? Spirit guides universe, please. Let's answer this question. Let me speak freely, speak truthfully. How many people have to die and how long do we have to suffer before we just do the stuff that is so easy to do to beat this? Guys, what I was just told, this, this virus is about unity. This virus is about people stopping thinking about themselves and, and thinking about other people. Us as a population taking care of each other as well as ourselves. This is about compassion. This is about love. This is about, it's not about uh, truth. This is about love, compassion, and unity coming together, bringing people together, about not harming people. That's what this is all about. This virus is for us to see humanity as it is supposed to be. And this virus will force us to into humanity. This virus will force us into humanity. We won't have a choice. If we keep fighting against it, this virus will win. Okay? one way or another, if we do not come to where we need to be, we got to come from out here and come to here. We cannot all be individuals. We have to work together to defeat this. Everything that is going on in our world right now is about us coming together. It is about unity, okay? This whole world change is about coming together understanding that we are stronger together than we will ever be apart. This is about truth. 
This is about letting people be happy, not trying to control them. And what's going on, we are in a fight, literally, for the soul of this world. People who want to control the very breath that you breathe, control how much food you have, want to tell you when and where you can go, because this is what it's going to come to. Our planet is dying. She's suffocating. She's boiling. We are in the system of change. Everything is changing. Everything. Our currencies, our governments, the way that we see, speak, the everything is changing. The universe is changing. The universe is gearing up to let us know that major events are on the horizon. All of this stuff is not for no reason. We are in the age of the grand awakening. We are so fortunate to see what is happening because we are a part of creating the new world. We are the creators. However, we could also be the slaves if we don't get our work done. Okay? We could be the slaves. We could be the ones that are being downtrodden, starving to death because of economic sanctions and ridiculousness, um, because we're allowing corporations to poison our air, to poison our water, to poison us, and then to set us to fight against each other for their causes, because they want more. We have to look at what we do. We have to look at what we allow them to do to us. Okay. My next question. Will Vlad be charged with war crimes? Will Vlad ever have to go to the house and be charged with war crimes? Will Vlad be charged with war crimes? When this is said and done and over with, will Vlad be charged with war cr crimes? Yes. <clears throat> He's not going to get away with this. But guys, we're at we're still at the beginning. This is still the beginning of this. And this could have been um, excuse me, over with by now. My next question is from Linda R. Linda R wants me to read on Chris Miller. Chris Miller was the defense secretary. Um, he was in, uh, responsible for intelligence, personnel, uh, and readiness. Will he be called to testify before the January 6th committee, or will he be indicted for any crimes? A lot of the things that are, um, I don't know when Chris Miller got put in. I have a feeling it was late when 45 was just willy-nilly firing everybody to put his, his, his uh, sycophants in positions to protect him when he lost that election. Okay, so here we go. Chris Miller, defense secretary, will he be called to testify? No, let's, let's, let's put it this way. Will Chris Miller, defense secretary for 45, be indicted? Will Chris Miller, defense secretary for 45, be indicted? Nobody's talking about him as of yet, but this person had a lot of power, a lot of power and a lot of resources to send or not send. Will Chris Miller be indicted? Yep. Second card. Yes. And he's, and he knows this too. There's some lean times coming from him. He did some financial. This is what this is. This ain't about him being poor. This is about him making people poor. This is about him withholding money from people who were supposed to withholding money, withholding equipment, withholding from people who were supposed to get. And yes, Chris Miller is going to be indicted. He's a Trump sycophant, abuse of power. He abused his office. He will be brought, he will be brought in, he will be indicted or whatever the job entails. Um, and uh, he really didn't want the job, but he was one of them who basically told Trump he would do anything that he, you know, 
what put put me where you need me. I'll do what you want me to do. Yeah, he's going to get indicted, Linda. Yes, he will. Okay, here's my next question. I think this one is from Danielle. Danielle asked it this way. She said, she asked, will slaves, uh, will Elon Musk use slaves to build Mars? I'm going to ask it this way. Will Elon Musk use AI, artificial intelligence, robots, slaves, or inmates to build his Mars colony? Will Elon Musk use AI, slaves, or inmates to build his Mars colony? I'm going to throw, I'm going to do three piles. First pile is going to be artificial intelligence. Will, will Elon Musk use artificial intelligence? The second pile is going to be human slaves. Will Elon Musk use human slaves to build the Mars colony? The third pile is inmates. Will Elon Musk use inmates to build his Mars colony? Okay. Um, the closest yes we got was AI, but it's going to be disastrous. Why? Sun flares, solar flares, radiation, things that they don't know what happens in space. So um, I think this was Danielle again. Danielle, the, for, for AI, we get our only yes, okay? For um, slaves, we get the thief and we get death. That's the second pile. And for inmate labor, we get an authoritarian and death. So, no, Elon is going to use robotics, um, artificial intelligence and robotics to uh, colonize space. Next question. Will the judge in the Marjorie Taylor Greene case Will he find her guilty of violating the 14th Amendment and find, will he find her guilty of violating the 14th Amendment, the insurrection? Will the judge in the Marjorie Taylor Greene case find her guilty in violation of the 14th Amendment? Will he find that she more than likely committed the crimes that she is being accused of. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to be found guilty. Guys, but my last reading said that she stands a chance on actually winning. Mm, they might try to write her in on the ballot in Georgia. But yeah, this judge is going to say, yeah, uh, I think you did exactly what the, the voters of Georgia are accusing you of doing. The judge is going to uphold. Um, th this case against her. Excellent question. My next question is from Denny. Um, hold on. All right. My next question is from Denny. Denny would like to know, um, evangelicals, Vlad and 45, why are conservatives attracted to them. Evangelicals, Vlad and 45. Spirit guides, please speak freely through me. What attracts people to them? What attracts people to the evangelicals, Putin and 45? What is their draw? What is their hold on people? Ideology. It's ideology. And this is the tough, this is that fake tough man. Um, Vlad's picture of him on that horse without the shirt on, that was propaganda for the ages to show him as a virile. Um, that was supposed to show him as uh, a sexually uh, um, uh, competent, I guess, but a virile, that he was a man. He's strong. He tamed the beast. Because if you remember the picture, um, he's shirtless. And I don't think that there may be a saddle on the horse, but he's not holding on to it. He's sitting atop the horse 
you know, in command of things. And 45 does the same thing. His image is very important to him, just like the evangelicals. It's all about imagery. It's all about imagery and what they portray to get people to believe in them. And the whole thing is, is strength. Uh, the, the evangelical uh, draw is that they are the ones that are trying to be as close to the Bible as possible, okay, to the point to where these are the same people who are literally attempting to usher in revelations. Everything that the GOP and these people are doing right now is to make sure that revelations comes to pass. They are trying to bring about the end of the world. Everything that they are doing, they are trying to do this and they are lying. This shows who these people are. The people, these are the Antichrists. The GOP is the Antichrist. Vlad is the Antichrist. Uh, 45 is the Antichrist. Antichrist, all that means, it's not one singular person. Antichrist means against good. Okay? We have to stop with the with the fake stuff. The Antichrist is anti-good. The Antichrist is the one who brings about chaos. That is what the Antichrist is. It is not a person. It is a consciousness. And it is the consciousness that we are living in right now. This consciousness, like I keep telling you, if you put your energy into it, you make it live. You bring it to life. This consciousness that the GQP are under, this chaos consciousness that they are, that is spreading through them like wildfire. They are getting more and more and more people to join their energy out of deception and lies, okay? We must understand that. You don't go looking for one person. This is a consciousness that is the anti-Christ, that is anti-good, that is anti-human, okay? Revelations deals in famine, loss, and lack. Everything that we're going through right now, and it's pain and despair and people being forced to choose between good and evil. We are here. We're at the door. We're knocking. Okay. They are trying to usher in revelations. It is still changeable. Stop giving them your energy. Stop being mad at them. Stop regarding them. Okay? What we have to do is speak truth. The same thing that they are doing with lies, we must do with the truth. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's not hard. It's harder for them to remember their lies than it is for us to just go out there and scream the truth. Go out and scream the truth. Just speak the truth. Stop the separatism. Stop being mad at them. They're going to do what they're going to do. You can't change that. But if you give it energy, if you're mad at them, you're feeding them. Ignore them. Speak the truth. Speak your truth everywhere to everyone. If you hear them lying to somebody, how hard is it to say, that's a lie, that's not true, that was debunked, you're lying, that's just, those, those are GOP talking points. Say something. They don't want critical thinking. It is not critical race theory. They do not want anybody to critically think. No, they just want you to do as you're told. Okay. Um, let 
Oh, I didn't throw on this. So, why are conservatives attracted to evangelicals 45 and Putin? Because it gives them a team. It gives them somebody to, to somebody like-minded, same hates, same values, same fears. Uh, the, and we get the mutiny card because this is what this is. These are bad actors. These are people following people who should not be followed. We get the King of Pentacles money. This is the biggest draw is the money. Just that all that all that power and money. Get the moon inverted is the fourth card. This is behind the moon inverted. Let's read this instability inconsistency, silence, a lesser degree, this is deception and error. These are the lies. These are the lies that they choose to believe. They are not forced to believe these lies. They choose to believe these lies. So Denny or Denise, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, that was Denny. Um, yeah, they are attracted to them because that is who they are deep inside. Um, it plays to their fears um, of being not in control of things, of not being. This is this is all about. A lot of it is just just it's a it's greed, and and avarice. And I have to keep saying that word because it is avarice. People don't care. They don't care about anything. Um, and until we take care, until we care for people more than we care for money, we're going to be stuck in this cycle. Uh, my next question is from Denise S. And Denise would like to know, will, uh-uh, hold on, got my cards messed up. Will the, will the U.S. be the country to stop Russia? Will the United States be the country to stop Russia, because as it were, the United States was going to be the country to help Russia take over the Ukraine. That was the plan. The, the United States was supposed to sit back and watch it happen to help Vlad, if anything. Will the U.S. be the country to stop Russia's invasion of the Ukraine, which is already too late? Because they're flattening. The, all he is doing is completely destroying the country. Will the U.S. be the country to stop Russia? Look at that. We get the sun. And I know Biden just said he's not going to send any troops to fight. Ah, my spirit guy says that's not true. We're, we're not there yet, guys. World War III has not started. We are, we are at the gate. We are at the cusp. Um, this is, we are, we have a unique purview here, uh, different from 1942 and World War II, okay? We see the similarities of what happened with World War II and Hitler. We cannot close our eyes and pretend that this is any different. We are repeating this because we didn't learn the first time, okay? And if we don't get this right, the third shaking is coming and it's not going to be pleasant for any of us. That's why I keep telling everybody to prepare. Because we as humans are some hard-headed, ignorant beings. Don't like to be told what to do. Don't want to do anything that's uncomfortable for us. Selfish, nasty bags of fear and filth. We have to do better. We have to teach. We have to have courage and not listen to fallacy. We have to believe that we are creators. We have to believe that we have power. Because if you think you're nothing special, then you're nothing special. But if you think that you have, that you hold the magic of the universe, that you were given gifts by our creator, 
if you have witnessed the magic that you have done, then you are awakened and you can change things and you can help other people understand that they are powerful beings. We aren't victims of this. Victimism, victimhood is chosen. You can choose to be a victim or you can choose to stand up. The choice, however, is 100% yours. That was my last question, guys. My last question. Look at this. And it's the last page of my question book. So I've, I've finished another book of questions. I think that's like my eighth one. <laughs> so, like I said, we can change what we can change. What we are being tasked to do right now is to speak the truth, to live in the truth, and to push the truth, to stop the liars. That's our job. Just use our voice. Speak the truth. Shout down liars. Shout down lies. Build your family groups, repair relationships, destroy old familial karma. It can change. Apologize. Whether it was your fault or not, if it can bring your family together, say I'm sorry. Don't hurt. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Pride goeth with the fall. You can die with your pride. It ain't gonna change nothing. You just died miserable and stubborn. Life is short and it's hard enough. There's no reason for us to make it harder. It's time to rebuild, repair, reconnect. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Drop your questions in the box for Monday's show. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Be safe. And yeah, the weather is funky. Put a coat in the car. You might need it. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.